Hey everyone, so today I'm gonna to walk you through Coinbase and how to buy some cryptocurrencies. If you haven't watched my third video, then make sure you do because in that video, I opened up an account um, on Coinbase and I connected my bank account to my Coinbase account. But today I'm actually going to walk you through the process of buying some coins. And so here's the thing, it's super simple. <laughs> Um, I had all this anxiety around it, but it's super simple. Um, I'm also going to show you that I've already made some money. Yes, it's all very exciting. I've made some cash already. So I'm Kelsey Matheson. I'm an entrepreneur, a success coach for women, and a speaker. And the Divi Project have brought me on board to help explain this whole cryptocurrency world. And I myself am a newbie in all of this. So you can follow me along in this journey as I figure it all out. I founded and co-owned a number of businesses, including Anamaya Resort, which is a yoga retreat center in Costa Rica. And guess what? Anamaya is now accepting Bitcoin as a form of payment. So if you like to use some of your Bitcoins up for a sweet vacation in paradise, then please leave me a comment below and I'll hook you up. So let's walk through the process of actually buying some cryptocurrencies. Like I mentioned, in my third video, I opened up a Coinbase account. So when I log on to Coinbase, I'm directed to my dashboard and you can see the current value of Bitcoin, how much it's gone up since last month in both US dollars and how much it's gone up percentage wise. So as of right now, when I shot this video, one Bitcoin is worth $8,230.50. So it's gone up in value over $2,000, which is an increase of about 39%, which is amazing. Now, if you click on Ethereum cryptocurrency, you can see that at the moment, its value is $368.49 for one coin. And it's gone up in value as well. So it's worth about $72 more than last month, which is an increase of about 24%. And you can do the same thing with Litecoin. And I love this, this graph that Coinbase has here. And it shows you the journey of the value fluctuations. And it's definitely volatile, but even so, you can see it's just continuing to increase. Here's my transactions record. Back on August 21st, I bought $50 worth of Bitcoin. On October 23rd, I bought another $50. And then I decided that every two weeks, I'll have $60 withdrawn from my bank account and used to purchase Bitcoin. So you can see here that $60 worth was purchased on November 6th and again on November 20th. But the money for November 20th won't arrive for another nine days. And because the value fluctuates so much, you can see what the value was when you made certain purchases. So when I bought my very first Bitcoin, the value was $6,099. And then on October 23rd, I bought another $50. The price had dropped to about $5,800. And then on November 6th, it went all the way up to $7,100. You know, it's too bad I didn't go ahead and make a purchase back when I made that third video because the value that day was around $4,300. So, oh well, I missed the boat on that one. But considering that, my advice to you is don't wait. Start looking into a few different currencies like Bitcoin, Ethereum, DiviCoin will be coming soon and purchase some coins. Because as you can see, I haven't invested very much at this point. You know, in total, I've used about $160 to purchase Bitcoin, but now it's worth $200. So basically I made 40 bucks by doing absolutely nothing. If that 160 was 1600, I would have made $400 by now by doing nothing. If it was 16,000, I would have made $4,000, you know, by doing nothing. Of course, this is going to continue to fluctuate, but you can see the trends of, of it increasing steadily, of the values increasing steadily, even with the dips, you know, here and there. So I wanna show you how to actually buy some coins. So I'm gonna purchase some Ethereum today. So I click on that. You can see my bank account is connected, which I showed you how I did that back in video three. And I'm going to plug in $50 in the US dollars box and it will calculate how much of an Ethereum coin that will buy based on the value today. So $50 will get me 0.12954, et cetera, worth of Ethereum. Think about it. We can spend more than $50 on a mani-pedi, a pair of shoes, dinner or drinks out with friends, getting a haircut, for example, all of those things cost more than $50. So if you set up your own Coinbase account and had $50 every month or even every two weeks, you would be investing into something that is going to make you money in the long run. And I mean, that's my opinion, that's how I see it. So I'm going to purchase this Ethereum. 
And you can see here, you click this box if you wanna set up reoccurring purchases. So you can choose daily, weekly, every two weeks, or monthly. Like I mentioned before, I have $60 every two weeks automatically coming out of my bank account to purchase Bitcoin. So for now, I'm, you know, I'm still learning about cryptocurrencies and how I can utilize them in the most effective way. So as I continue to learn, that amount, that $60, will most likely increase. So today, I'm not going to set up a regular purchase for Ethereum. I'm just going to make a one-time purchase. And when it, comes, um, when it comes from your bank account, you need to allow a few more days for the money to transfer. And you can see here, there's an explanation of why it takes so long. But basically, just remember that if you use your debit or your credit card, then the purchase happens instantly. But when you use your bank account, the transfer just takes several days. So I have $50 to purchase my second cryptocurrency I've ever purchased and I click buy Ethereum and then I click confirm buy and my purchase was successful. So now you can see that I have $60 worth of Bitcoin coming as well as the $50 worth of Ethereum that I just purchased and the Ethereum wallet is automatically created when I make the purchase. So there's no need to create a specific wallet. It's automatically generated. So it'll be fun to see how my Bitcoin and Ethereum grows, but I know there are so many options that allow you to do a lot more with your coins. So I'm gonna to continue to do my research and learn more about mining and trading and all of the other cool things that I can do with my coins and essentially make more money because who doesn't want that? So thank you again for watching everyone and thanks to the Divi Project for following my journey as a cryptocurrency newbie. Um, I'm Kelsey Matheson and I'll see you next time. Ciao for now.